guys, how's it going? It's Justine, and today I saw that Apple announced some new emojis. Now these will be out in a future release of iOS 11. They did give us a very small preview of some new ones on World Emoji Day, but today they gave us even more. So I kind of looked at them very quickly, especially the animals, but I wanted to do sort of a reaction to them. Make sure you guys leave me some comments below and let me know what your favorite old emoji is and also what your favorite new emoji is. And the best part about this is you can comment with an emoji. And if you guys don't have an iOS device, that's okay. We can still see your emojis and you can still see ours. So make sure you guys comment and let me know what your favorite is. The first one that we have is sign language for I love you, which is awesome. I was also reading that this has been a very highly requested emoji. And guess what? Here it is. Next. Oh, we finally have the giraffe. This is legendary. And to go with the giraffe, the zebra. I recently went to Napa and we did this really cool safari where we saw giraffes and zebras and I was trying to tweet about it and I realized what? There's no giraffe or zebra emoji, but guess what else there is? A porcupine and a dinosaur, a cricket, and oh, this, isn't, this isn't an animal. I, I think this is a dumpling or like a, we call them pierogies. Does anybody know what a pierogi is? Pierogies are pretty famous in Pittsburgh. They even have at the Pirates games, which is our baseball team. They have pierogi races where they have these people dressed up in costumes and they chase each other around the field. It's kind of silly. I'm not sure if they still do that. It's been a very long time since I've been to a Pirates game. Ooh, we've got some delicious takeout food. This is interesting. This is uh, a, a piece of broccoli. A little broccoli florette <gasps> preview of a future video. I wonder what type of pie this is supposed to be because this could really be any type of pie. It could be an apple pie, it could be a chicken pot pie. But let me tell you what it probably isn't. It's probably not a pumpkin pie. And do you know how I know this? Because I made a really big mistake. And you guys will see this in a Thanksgiving-ish video. I tried to make a pumpkin pie. Did you guys know the pumpkin pies don't normally have crust on top of them? You'd think that that's something that is very common knowledge, but it's something that I didn't realize. Next up, we have this beautiful, very, very luxurious blue hat. I wonder if they're gonna have the option to press down on it and choose different colored hats. Probably not, but if they did, that's a pretty cool idea. Oh, and look at this wonderful red scarf. I wonder if they'll do that same thing for this. I don't think they will. I feel like this is probably a standard issue color, but that would be really cool if they did that. Oops, I lost where I was. Some winter gloves, a beautiful jacket. I actually like that jacket. It's very chic, very detective-like. These next ones are pretty awesome and a huge props to Apple for taking a stand and saying, guess what? We're gonna do this. They have non-gender emojis. So these are amazing. So here's one, here's the next, and here's the third. I think it's pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think. And next, in addition to all of the other heart emojis, they have a new orange heart. I'd say probably my favorite heart out of all of them is the black one and the purple. Next, we've got this wonderful wizard. We have a, I'm not really sure what they're calling this, but it kind of looks like a little Tinkerbell. A vampire, which is perfect timing for Halloween. And a mermaid. I feel like this is definitely long overdue. Here's a few of the new face emojis. We've got this one, I'm not really sure what's going on with this little guy. He's just kind of like, this I will definitely use all the time. It's the shh emoji. I feel like there's so many times when, well, probably my sister will mostly use it on me. I'll just be yapping about something and it's gonna be the perfect time for one of the shh emojis. This is also very interesting because it's one, two, three, four, five. Five character swear word. And I'm going through the list of swear words that could possibly be, and I feel like most of the really bad ones are four letters. So it's kind of a good thing that it's five letters because it's more or less like, you know, we're not saying a bad, bad word. We're just saying, I'm not sure. I would say comment below with a swear word that you think it is, but I do not want you to do that. And I have swear words blocked, so you can't say them anyway in my comments. <laughs> this one, I like a lot. I love the little eyeglass guy. This is one of those things that I feel like me and my sister will use when we are, not that we would ever do this, but if we were to say, you know, stalking somebody on the internet, creeping on their Instagram or on their Twitter, this is one of the perfect emojis for that. I mean, we never, ever do that. I mean, you guys probably don't do that ever. Like, come on. This is a little sled. So this is in kind of like the health and fitness wellness section. I guess I'm not really sure. I mean, I feel like this is one of those things that like, I don't, mm, I'm not really 100% sure. I'm just rambling now because I'm trying to figure out what the sled is for. I mean, is this like a dog sled? Is this like a fitness sled where you like put things on it and then you push it and pull it and get real fit? I'm still not really sure what this is. I think this is something else for fitness. Go like this. <laughs> When you're doing like push-ups or something. 
I will say I probably will use this one more than once or twice. This is a beautiful spa emoji. And the last one here on my list is a rock climber. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick little iOS preview. I was so excited when I saw that they had new emojis coming out. Obviously, we've been waiting for this for a really long time. Apple has been teasing this for months. I mean, maybe even, it's almost been a year at this point. I mean, there's so many emojis that it takes me longer to scroll through and find the one that I want. But what has made it so much easier is in iOS, you can just type the emoji that you're looking for. So for example, giraffe, I can type that when this is actually out. The little giraffe emoji will pop up below in the little predictive text. You can click it and then you don't have to scroll through all of them. Anyway, I will see you guys soon. I have a GoPro Hero comparison video coming out very soon and I think I mentioned it on Twitter. The image stabilization is amazing. I'll also have a week, or I guess at this point it's two weeks with iPhone 8 video. I've got some fun cooking videos for Halloween coming out and let's see, I think there's something else too, but I don't remember at this point. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, and uh, that's all. I'm gonna go edit this video. Bye!